I'll be honest, I'm not really sure where to start with this match review. 1-0 against Newcastle. 11 games, 11 away games that Solskjaer has had now without a win at United after winning the first nine. There is going to be some serious pressure on Solskjaer now for the next two weeks before we play Liverpool at Old Trafford. United, three points off the relegation zone at the moment. Bottom half of the table form, relegation form so far this season. But it wasn't unexpected against Newcastle. I think that probably makes it worse, is what we saw against Newcastle did not come as a surprise. It just compounded the problems that keep piling up at United, one on top of the other. And I'm not talking about injuries, because if you dropped Popper into that team, Martial into that team, Shaw into that team, there's no guarantee that the football would change. Yes, there's a lot of injuries, and yes, that hasn't helped Solskjaer, but this United team... Oh shit, we really are. There's no other way to put it. That starting eleven we put out there would do absolutely fine in the championship. That's what it looked like. And the football was championship level, less than championship level. United, again and again and again and again and again, we're going to come up against a team that sits deep and we can't break them down. We cannot break a team down that just does that. And it's so infuriating that that's the quality that United have but it's the ultimate reality of the situation we find ourselves in. And you all know by now, maybe you don't, but I firmly do not believe, stand by this as well, that sacking a manager, sacking Solskjaer right now is going to help improve this situation. What we've got is a total sum of the issues that are around the club and the fact that the away fans there were cheering Glazers out towards the end is where the fucking finger should be pointed. But after this game, it's... It's not just about pointing towards the owners because the football on display as well was absolutely abysmal. What is Fred? I don't even know what position he plays, what he should be good at, what he should be better at anything he's doing. Marcus Rashford again. The guy's so out of form that Solskjaer saying he's 100% fit just sounds like an outright lie. Everywhere. Tuan Zebe, I think, again, was quality. But... His individual good performance is going to get buried in the mire, the swamp that was United's performance. And nothing changed from Alkmaar in midweek. And I suppose that is where the biggest questions have to be asked about Solskjaer. Because whether or not you feel he deserves more time, or whether you feel that it's right or wrong for United to sack their manager, and whether you feel that would help the situation, you can't ignore the tactical ineptitude we've been seeing from United. Across the season, 4 2 3 one's not working. How are the substitutions not changing games? Why are the players not giving their all every single game? Why did it take until the 65th minute, really, for us to start playing football? And then we conceded on the counter-attack to a long staff goal and not even the one that we were trying to sign in the summer. It's extremely hard, slash impossible, to Anzebe aside, to come out of that game with any sort of positive. And building on top of what we've seen in the games against Arsenal this season, Wolves, today against Newcastle, Alkmaar, Astana at home, the list goes on and on and on. This United team is distinctly average, would be, I think, doing it a justice, calling it that anyway. We're so devoid of any sort of creativity going forward. We're so devoid of any sort of confidence playing out from the back with the ball now. We're so devoid of any midfield that's going to challenge anybody. And that's down to the squad and the, the sheer lack of quality that we have in this squad that would not change with any new manager that came in. But this is largely the same squad that Solskjaer had last season that drove it to nine away wins in a row. And now we haven't won in our last 11. Of course, Solskjaer is at least partly responsible for that. And I think it's fair to now ask questions about his ability as a United manager. Because I'm not seeing it I'm not seeing any response from the players. I'm not seeing any response from the manager. But I find myself at another fucking crossroads again. Because I don't know 
where the answers lie now. And United don't know where the answers lie. The players don't. Solskjaer doesn't. Woodward doesn't. Nobody at the club does. And that's the situation United find themselves in. So many questions have to be asked over this next two-week period before that game against Liverpool. And it's going to be a long couple of weeks. There's going to be a lot of tough questions asked. Asked, sorry. But the pressure is building and building and building and building and building on Solskjaer's role as United's manager. And there's very few performances from this season that you can justify his position with. Now, I, as I said, and I'll say time again, I don't think United should be sacking their manager. It's not going to help us move forward. But I've, I don't know where the answers are to the questions that are being asked at the moment. And that's left me at a bit of a crossroads and I don't really know what to think. So I want to know what you think after that. But it's an all-time low, I think, for Solskjaer. That game there, in a match where a response was fucking needed, in a match that was before a two-week international break, before the Liverpool game, to bury the Alkmaar, it got worse. We lost to Newcastle, who have been so crap this season. But they made... United look worse. Let me know what you're feeling after that match there. It's not a case of asking Solskjaer in or Solskjaer out. It's a case of asking what the right questions are and trying to figure out what the correct answers and solutions are. Because I, for one, right now, I just don't know.